Hello everybody, welcome back to a new video on my YouTube channel, I'm Nicholas, it's 5am, I just got done reacting to The Rock completely destroying Cody Rhodes. Um, and next up we're going to be watching a segment between CM Punk, Drew McIntyre and Sam Rollins. I tried to avoid as many clips uh, on Twitter as possible because I knew it would be uploading the whole thing, which it luckily did. It's nearly 20 minutes long even without the entrances, so let's not waste any time and get to it. things i want to say again business to get to but it's crazy that, that without simpak getting injured in chicago on a monday night or what nothing of the rock and everything would have happened the way it did Hell which yeah. is insane to think about in some way Everybody's maybe a blessing in disguise if he's gonna be at wrestlemania the short mm. answer is yes I heard he'll do commentary. I already heard so much. Everybody's asking me how my elbow's doing. It's not great. It's not 100%. I'm not medically cleared, but damn it. My mouth works. <laughs> We're not on Netflix yet, so I apologize. April knows what I'm talking about. That's a great thing about Punk. He does need to wrestle. His, his voice alone is worth everything. Suggestions. They say, are you going to host WrestleMania? I don't know. Ten years ago, if you asked me that, I would have thought hosting WrestleMania was beneath me. But, man, I just want to be in front of all you people. I wish WrestleMania was here in Chicago. Ten years ago was 2014. Ten years ago, he walked out. It's so insane. Tom is such a man. People ask me, man, you're great in the ring. You're great. It looks good, night. though. Great. Even at commentary. I like really hope. Why don't you try to you can stay healthy next time. It was such a freak accident this time. I just really, really hope he can stay healthy for at least one or two more years. The most impartial referee. I don't know. Oh. Huh. Oh. Not only people ask me a lot of questions, a lot of people talk about me. A lot of people talk about me. It seems there's a lot of people that even if they hate me, most of them love me. They certainly need me, and they need to talk about me. Pat McAfee. Whoa, 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 whoa. Pat What's McAfee. between Punk and Pat? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Got yourself a little program, I understand. I apologize. I'm not a daily listener. I listen to the experience in the drive through But you had a guest on your show. Understandable. By the name of Roman Reigns. Hmm. What is the experience, and though? I, I feel like I've heard that before. Why does a guy like Roman Reigns need to bring little old one-armed CM Punk up? He's earned that right. But yeah, man, please to healthy just for that feed alone. Holy moly. That me coming back the and climbing back podcast. up the mountain. And on Roman's way back down the mountain. We're going to see each other pretty soon. Another guy that likes Hopefully. to talk about me is Thing Seth is, Rollins. when it happens, it would be without a title. But I think that would still work really well. If anything, it makes things just more interesting without the title involved. Uh, me and Seth... We go way back, we don't see eye to eye, mostly because he wears high heels now, and he's somehow magically taller than me. <laughs> That's a story for another time. But LOL Man, Severus Punk would have been insane, but what we got now is still insane. It's, since I was 15 years it's crazy, old. man. What a Maybe butterfly effect we're going through. I don't know. Coming from somebody with two bad knees. The wrestling uh, experience. Jenny and Jess. talked about me. Hasn't said a word. The Rock. And I'd like to think that's because 10 years ago he remembers coming face to face with the Second City Saint and realizing that his arms were just too short to box with God. Hell yeah. He owned him in that program, honestly. Rock nowadays. Million times better than 10 years ago. And then, but back then, man, Punk owed him in that program. McIntyre. Hater of the year, man. Drew McIntyre on social media has been a blast. So entertaining. Some of the best work he's done. I don't terminally live on the that tweet with the business live. with the with the grave, color, man. You got a problem in Chicago? You handle it face to face like a man. And here we go. I do think I need to oh. skip it a bit. Song off. Thank you. To to that. 
because copyright issues. A. Fame is a banger, but if anything, we need broken dreams. I ain't medically clear, but I'm not looking to have a wrestling match. Why don't you get your in here? Not wasting any time. This is the thing, obviously, Drew versus Punk, maybe even as a world title feud for Drew, would be insane. But again, I just hope he can stay healthy. I would love to get to that ring right now and beat your arse, but Punk, don't you remember what happened last time we were in the ring together? I stomped that this is the thing. It was a freak accident, but I it generally can I'm tell if maybe it's just too fragile hey, overall hey, now. It's so unfortunate. Are you a Scottish psychopath and a kilt? Are you an internet troll in a skirt? Let's find out. This is 2024. You want to get cancelled for talk like that? <laughs> no, no. Tonight, tonight's perfect. This is oh, man. For this. You're in the ring injured, punk. We're less than two weeks to Mania. We're in Chicago. Drew McIntyre is in the world title match. What is on a this shirt? This is divine intervention. That's what this is. Wrestling gods. Oh man, I just man. realized I'm wearing this shirt. We're in the chamber, what? what? bad manners. You know, on the back it says... Yeah, thank you. It just seemed Pung, win the chamber, win the championship. I never had to put another man's name on a t-shirt to sell it. Oh my god, and there's the one yeah, with the grave. <laughs> man, t-shirt gimmick. Fucking bad. Struggled to get out of that thing with my biceps. Something you probably never had the issue with. Mm. You want to know... The most ironic thing about you, Punk. Oh my god! The straight edge thing. The, the guy from Survivor Series that went, Chicago, Chicago, is behind the commentary desk. Wait, what did he say? Yeah, you spend all your time in rehab. The most ironic thing about you, Punk. The straight edge thing. Straight edge too? You never too? drink, you never do drugs, yet you spend all your time in rehab. Ooh, that's good material. Now I can see in your eyes. You don't Damn. Like too much and you think I hate you like Damn. You know, that's a and bar. One time I hated you and maybe those issues that need resolve but no as of right now. I don't hate you punk. You complete me. And I've seen some people man. say No, hear me out. Yeah. You tell them who you paid to see. Hear Punk me should help Drew win the title. I get that last rep, and I'm using weights you couldn't even have imagined in your prime. I think about you, and the weight goes up. I'm an elimination chamber, first man in, 30 minutes in, burst eardrum, equilibrium off. Can't possibly win that thing. I think about CM Punk, and I get the job done. You're my muse, man. I can't hear a word you're saying. Why don't you come into this ring and speak into my good ear? Come on, you coward! I would love to get in that ring, but I know what the people of Chicago are like. You probably have a weapon in there, and you'll try and take me out before <laughs> WrestleMania. <laughs> what the hell? I don't have any idea. What feels so great about this right now is it feels so natural. You perv. <laughs> Listen, punk, please. I know you want to this feels really like a genuine real heated conversation, not like a promo. I want you there. I want you to have a front row seat at WrestleMania. Don't look at my you honestly kill believe you, you should be in my position, but you shouldn't, and everybody's finally starting to realize what I've known all along that Drew McIntyre has always been the chosen one. Chosen one? Who chose you? Who? What was his name? Huh? You got the balls to say you're the chosen one? Tell me what <laughs> Even Drew's like, well, oh, shit, he got me there. I can't say that anymore. In Chicago. <laughs> it was like, ah, you son of a bitch, you got me. Antonio, when we went off the air on Monday Night Raw, and they were saying, CM Punk. CM Punk. CM Punk. Please. Keep going. Get it in while you can, because you're going to be out for months still. This is your moment. This is exciting. I feel like a fan sitting here. But anyway, if you want to be part of the show, 
Maybe, since I'm on the commentary desk of it, an idea, I want you to have the front row seat. You're only good at talking, running that mouth of yours, so why don't you maybe be the guest commentator for the world title match and have to watch Drew McIntyre finally have his moment and raise that world heavyweight championship with live fans in a stadium. Oh. Should have happened I four like years ago. <laughs> Punk is a national national treasure. Drew has been sounding good though. It's one of his best promos. Again, I gotta skip the music video because of copyright. I wouldn't miss anything funny. Okay, I think we're fine now. Again, it would have been a fantastic main event. But on the other hand, like mentioned, what we're currently experiencing is just something truly special. Boo McIntyre said maybe it's Drew, huh? Boo McIntyre. Historically a good singing city. This fire still burns, yeah. Am I seeing a little bit of gray hair in, in Seb's beard? Already? I thought he had a few more years left before that happens. Wait, how old is Seb again? Oh, the Seth again, isn't he like thirty? To Monday night. Seth's still got Chicago behind himself too. Isn't he like thirty-six, seven? And now thirty-seven, yeah. Firmly okay. Firmly established, whose show this is? Whose show this has been? And whose show this is going to be? <laughs> if you two children <laughs> Just let it happen, dog. Just, Just let it happen. happen. And to be your show, it's my city. Oh, I know it's a one away game for me tonight, punk, but if you guys are done trying to out troll each other, maybe we get down to business. You see. If you two morons had even one brain cell amongst the two of you, you know you don't get to make decisions about the World Heavyweight Championship match at WrestleMania when you're not in it. <laughs> but since you guys seem to want to Take everybody's opinion into account except the champ himself. I figure, why not go all the way? Why not take a poll of the whole city of Chicago? So let's ask you fine folks here tonight. WrestleMania 40, Drew McIntyre versus Seth freaking Rollins, world heavyweight title on the line. Should CM Punk be on commentary? Yeah, why not? Uh, I just, I don't that. I'd like that. That'd be fun. <laughs> I I like. How much we got left? Another five minutes. I'm not sure if we've already had the highlight because that entire McIntyre Punk exchange was gold. I don't know if you know this, but that's his counting arm right there. <laughs> you still got a left arm to count. In all fairness, <laughs> and really is like to be objectively fair with these two. So. <laughs> PG, brother. Man. <laughs> I mean, after the main event, nothing is PG anymore. <clears throat> this is hilarious. 
in like the best way because like makes it feels like an actual conversation the back and forth and so not like just scripted promo material do you want to know what i think punk nope <laughs> well that's ironic because nope. i don't think anything about you matter of fact you haven't crossed my mind since the last time we were in this ring together. I don't give a damn about you. You're a non-factor to me. If you want to be on commentary at WrestleMania, you want to be a referee at WrestleMania, it doesn't matter to me. The funny thing to me, though, is that you're talking about how everybody needs you, but the fact is, you need me to have a moment at WrestleMania. I mean, a couple of weeks ago, people would have said Rollins needs Punk to main event Mania. Like now he's in the main event either way. Because the irony of CM Punk narrating my finest hour has not been lost on me. And Punk, truthfully, the way things are going for you, it's about as close to a world championship as you're ever going to get again. Mmm. Mm. So look, you do whatever you want. Man, you just know Punk is miserable, though. The so unfortunate. I need you to know the one thing I need you to do is stay out of my way. Again, Punk costing Seth the title and helping Drew win would be perfect. He screws Seth, and he can help over Drew the fact that without him, he probably would have won the title. It kind of seals his moment, too. It would be pretty damn good. Okay, it's decided. I'm gonna put some cans on, sit next to my buddy Michael Cole, all the coal miners, Pat McAfee. Yeah. Woo. Do a little commentary at WrestleMania, and I guarantee you I will do something that you, the lips in your boots, the shoe polish in your beard, your skirt, all the pyro in the world and that stupid sword that you came out to the ring with and you your bell bottoms your championship your wife my 10-year absence from this company could never do is make you both interesting now hit my music well not bad. It's all kind of Drew McIntyre's idea. No. Not he doesn't get the last bad. Word. Cut the music. What? He's not even in the match at WrestleMania. You don't get the last word, punk. He's commentating. That's how it works. I want to make one thing clear. The only thing Fuck Drew McIntyre's obsessed with is the title. You are obsessed with me. You think about me all day long. You watch me in social media. You watch me on TV because I am living your and dream. And he's living away. You're my number one away. Stan. Write me back just to chill. Truly yours, your biggest fan. This is Phil. Oh! Mm. And Rollins with a blindside kick to McIntyre. Medically cleared. Stronger than ever. Stop! And perhaps it is Drew McIntyre who is now taking his eye off the ball, not Seth Rollins. This is really solid. So Hunter has really been able to work around these change of plans is so well. It has to be something happening. Whenever it's Punk costing Drew the match or, or Seth the match. Whatever way it's gonna be around, he's definitely gonna have some deciding factor in that main event. Now the thing again still is Rollins being involved in a big main event feud while also carrying over this feud is kind of a bit weird here and there, but it still makes sense and still goes smoothly. And like mentioned, the Hunter has been doing an insane job with making this WrestleMania truly feel insane. Um Incredible war title match again many people would have loved to see Zayn in here But I feel like he would actually just kind of not fit now in between this triangle between these three because the way it now works out Just has been perfect. So Incredible segment especially the punk back and forth with Drew here in the first half was Entertaining as hell uh, Like mentioned just felt like a real conversation rather than your typical promo segment 
What an incredible Raw that was, both in terms of matches and in terms of segments. I had a blast with that. I hope you enjoyed my reaction, and I will see you again soon with more WWE Live reactions, the latest for WrestleMania.